So before we get started, I should introduce myself. My name is Cesar Gomez. I am a full stack web developer uh, by day, and I also teach full stack web development um, for a coding boot camp called 2U. I've also sub instructed and um, have been a teaching assistant for other boot camps as well. But that's to say that this tutorial series, these tutorial series have nothing to do or have any association with those companies. But yeah, I mean, I've started my coding journey with much like a lot of you using Free Code Camp, Udemy courses, um, et cetera, et cetera. And this, tutor this tutorial series that I'm doing about Haskell is basically just me attempting to teach uh, an unpopular language like Haskell, but I do feel that in the days ahead, it's probably gonna become more and more popular. And the more resources that there are out there to um, consume, the better. So I'm just trying to do my part and help the community in any way that I can. So if you wanna get in contact with me, I'll share my LinkedIn uh, profile in the description as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the series. It's going to be one of many. And today I'm just going to show you how to install Haskell in, via, you know, the instructions that specifies that it's specified here. Now, one of the reasons why I'm doing a tutorial series specifically on Haskell has to do with the Cardano blockchain. I'm a big supporter of uh, IOHK and Cardano. So if you like this video, please um, like, subscribe, and I will also put my um, Cardano wallet address in the description if you want to buy me a coffee. Okay, so here we go. All we have to do is basically go to this URL, haskell.org, G-H-C up, or G-H cup, and copy this link here. We're gonna go into the terminal, paste that, uh, execute this curl command. Let's hit enter. Okay, let's hit enter again to proceed. Okay, let's see, it's given us a few options to set everything up. In this case, I do want to add uh, this GH cup to the path, to my path. So let's say yes. Do you want to install Haskell Language Server HLS? I sure do. Let's type in yes. Do you want to install Stack? Let's say yes. Stack is a Haskell build tool similar to Cabal that is used by some projects. So let's just do yes. Yeah, let's even if we don't end up using it, let's say yes for now because we might end up using it in the future. Okay, so we hit enter a couple of times. Now this is going to take a while as it says here. So I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to speed it up. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I've been stuck on this message here. I've waited about close to an hour and this thing isn't doing at all. So I'm losing hope. I think it's because I'm on an M1 uh, MacBook Air. I don't think it's fully supported yet, so I'm gonna control C out of this. If you're on Windows, you might have better luck than I did. Um, but for that video, this didn't work, or for this video, it didn't work. So what I'm gonna do is, I saw online that this might be the new recommended, this is at least the recommended way to install it for uh, if you have an M1 MacBook. So I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna cross my fingers that this works. Let's do iTerm. Let's Paste that in there. Let's see. All right, I'm going to stop the video again and see if this continues to run. So, after going this route, and I'll put the link in the description below, um, by running brew install Haskell dash stack. It seemed to work. So I opened up iTerm and I included the, um, I ran that command. Let's see, where's it at? So as you can see, I was stuck here for around 30 minutes to an hour. Then I ran brew install Haskell stack and 
I saw a lot of output, no errors, all green, all very good sign, and it finished without it without any error messages popping up. So to see if it actually worked, which you can do uh, to verify that everything worked as it should, you can start running the REPL uh, GHCI. And sure enough, you have it installed if you're seeing this prelude um, output down there. So just to kind of play around with this for a little bit, we can run 2 plus 2. We should see the output of 4, or 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Great. And again, just to get out of this whole thing, we can do uh, colon Q or colon quit. And that should uh, leave you from GHCI. So everyone, that is our first video on how to install Haskell on an M1 at least. Um, if you are on a Windows, you might want to try this first. Oh, that's not it. One of the links that I shared previously might actually be this one. Yeah, this one before. So yeah, good luck. Go ahead and join our Discord server. If you have any questions, I'm always there to help you out. If you like this video, please uh, send some tips to that ADA address that you find down below too. All right, everyone. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.